the next big takeover, what do you think it will be? You know, I just don't care about the business aspects. What I care about is the technology and the value to the customer. So what we're looking for are ways for platforms to open up with APIs to interconnect together lots of social networks and blogging platforms. So if any of these big guys want to help do that, that's great. If they want to stay closed data silos, that's bad. Yeah. Money is not what it's about. Changing the world is. Making people's lives better, enabling them to take all their different versions of their life all around the web and connect them together. Those are the issues that matter. And so if Yahoo does that, Yahoo wants to be open against Google, great. If Facebook wants to do that to be open against MySpace, great. Those are the things I care about. Now along the way, uh, money is made. You have to have people paying the rent and making a living. You like now the hype is Twitter? Oh. Don't get me started. I mean, this is so, we have a word for this. We call this the echo chamber, okay? All these early adopter guys. Remember my blog log? Okay, well, it got bought by Yahoo. Now it disappeared, okay? Twitter is about selling a company. What's the next uh, big thing you're going to do? Oh, well, okay, so we're focusing on open standards. And, and you'll hear Dick Hart talk about this afternoon. So the idea is that first, well, now we have open ID. We have the ability to do single sign-on and interconnect people together, all using the same ID. But this is, again, a nerdy issue that no normal people know and appreciate. But in terms of the technology stack, we needed to have security and privacy first. Okay, So now we have that. That's called open ID. Then the next layer up that Dick will talk about today is what we call attribute exchange. We're able to move the data back and forth so you can take all your friends from the hives and move it over into Facebook or from Facebook and put it into Bebo. Okay? All right, so that's obviously what you want. Everybody wants that. And there's actually a third level above that where I can make a friend between networks. I can uh, join a group. I can send a message between different social networks. Now, all those ideas, all that technology is embedded in our product we call the People Aggregator. So we're about to announce some big customers and to show how our white label solution can not only provide standalone social networks for people, so you could have your own hives, Okay? But also, I could go up to an existing software platform and bring social to that platform. So we believe that all software will be social. And our platform, the People Aggregator, can go and bring social to existing websites. What do you think the next big takeover will be? The next big exit? The next big exit um, is basically Facebook going public. Okay, so but it's not, it's not a uh, takeover. It's basically Facebook deciding to uh, go file um, and become an even larger company because of the financial means that they will have. Okay, and what do you think the next hype will be after Twitter? The next hype after Twitter. Um, well, I've, I've just invested in a company called UStream TV, which is basically live TV or live YouTube made available to anyone who wants to create a personal channel. And certainly really, really hyped uh, these days. Your next success will be? My next success... Um, well, or your next step, maybe. Well, my, my next step... Essentially, you know, I've been, I've been doing investments in the Web2.0 space for three years now. And so I'm one of the most actives on the Valley. And um, it's basically finding my, the next interesting, you know, team will just convince me that they have something that is worth my time and my money to invest. And so I've just um, committed to two investments this week. Um, You're in Europe or? No, there's no. I'm, I'm doing, I'm not don't doing do anything here. Um, except NetVibes and Wikio, which are two of my companies here. I do nothing in, um, in Europe. I really focus on, on the Valley. And so um, one is in gaming, one is in sort of um, personalization infrastructure, which are two of my really um, areas of interest. Next success, you know, there's, I'm sure there's going to be um, a few exits for me this year because there's, you know, a lot of interest around my companies. Um, I just look forward to the first billion dollar business being built out of my portfolio. That's sort of my next step. What do you think the next big takeover will be? Well, I think uh, Facebook is a really interesting company these days. You know, the uh, you know, if I look at you know my own personal interactions, 
I actually have a fairly active Facebook, and like almost all the other uh, social networking sites where it was really the digerati. You know, it's like, you know, and I have a lot of friends that are digital, you know, so every time there's a new one that becomes popular, I join with them. Facebook really actually mapped into more of my real social network uh, locally. And, you know, a number of the new features they have are making a much richer platform. Now the whole setting themselves up as a programming environment or programming platform, I think, is, is really innovative. As to whether they get taken over or whether they actually become a, a long-term self-standing uh, company is an, is an interesting question to see what happens there. It doesn't seem like they're interested in getting acquired right now. And it could be one of the more interesting, uh, if they decide to go public, a very interesting IPO in the not distant future. What might be the next thing? Well, Twitter's, you know, I actually know Evan Williams quite well, who's uh, one of the co-founders of Twitter and got on it early. And I think it's a great piece, but the, you know, and, and they have a plug-in Twitter for Facebook now, but Facebook gives me a lot of the same functionality plus some other stuff that Twitter has. What are the next things? You know, it's always hard to tell what the next things are. It's probably something I've sort of fiddled around with that suddenly would become big that I thought, oh, that's kind of lame, kind of like Flickr. Your, your next success, your next step will be? Um, well, my current company, Skip, we've got a product, Skipper, that makes the internet simple, safe, and secure. So it's a Firefox plugin now. Eventually, we'll have one for uh, IE. And it allows you to easily manage your data as you're moving around on the web. It speaks a number of the identity protocols that are merging, but it makes the existing web look like it has an identity protocol so that it's really simple for you to manage things, remembers what stuff did you give to what site. So you can open, open ID. Uh... Open ID is one of those protocols, but it will also be supporting InfoCard as well.